know as Koinonia. Welcome with me, Apostle Joshua Selman from the Canadian Network. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. It's my joy to be here, Pastor Nat. Thank you so much, the Hallelujah Challenge team. Thank you for the marvelous time of worship. Let's give them a big, big God bless you. Amen and amen. My assignment tonight and this morning for us here is to lead us as we pray. I believe in the power of prayer and we're going to be praying. Uh, but then I just want to challenge our hearts across a few thoughts and then we will pray. And I request that you lend me your attention. I felt stirred, Pastor Nat, to just talk on answered prayer. I think that many believers do not understand the dynamics of answered prayer. Psalm 65 and verse 2. The Bible says, unto thee that heareth, or some versions say answered prayer. It says, shall all flesh come. Second scripture very quickly is James chapter 4 and verse 2. I want you to please connect and lend me your attention. I want to show you a few things and then we'll pray. The Bible says, ye have not. And the simple reason is because ye ask not. That if you know how to ask in a certain way, there is a guarantee that you will have. Final scripture, John 16, 24. Jesus is speaking and here's what he says. He says, he that told, ye have asked for nothing in my name then he says ask who is asking you to ask jesus himself he's saying ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full now please listen god is a prayer answering god not just a prayer hearing god god is a prayer answering god it takes life to hear but it takes power to answer you see that many people can hear any living thing can hear but it takes power for answers to come so god is not just a prayer hearing god he is a prayer answering god say it's a prayer answering god shout it again say it's a prayer answering god psalm 91 verse 15 please give it to us psalm 91 and verse 15 here's what the psalmist said 91 and verse 15 let's read it together one to read he shall call upon me uh-huh and i will answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him i will honor him may that be someone's testimony so god is a prayer answering god i'm saying this so that when we begin to pray you carry within yourself this consciousness that i am praying to a god that does not just hear but that he answers hallelujah three principles very quickly i want to share with you this night this morning and then we'll get to the place of prayer number one the first principle that governs answered prayer is the consciousness of the love of god if you are not conscious of the love of god it will affect your releasing faith to get your prayers answered the consciousness of the love of god romans chapter 8 and verse 32 the consciousness of the love of god romans 8 32 let's read together it says he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things you know what he's saying we did not ask god to give jesus he gave us the greatest gift without us asking how much more would he give us what we now ask for he that did not spare his son would he withhold prosperity from you would he withhold healing from you would he withhold lifting from you hallelujah second scripture james 1 5 profound scripture i hope you are learning already the consciousness of the love of god he says if any man if any one of you lack he's speaking about wisdom here but it refers to any other thing if anyone lacks favor if anyone lacks help if anyone lacks deliverance he says let him ask of god 
that giveth unto men liberally. I like that word. The word liberally means lavishly without finding fault. Lavishly without finding fault. And it says it shall be given to him. So the first revelation that governs answered prayer is the consciousness of the love of God expressed in and through Jesus Christ. That when I approach him in the place of prayer, I am aware that God loves me and that provided it is consistent with his will. That leads me to the next point, that he will not withhold from making it available. Are we learning? Principle number two. The second principle that governs answered prayer is the knowledge of his will. It is not enough to be aware of the love of God. 1 John chapter 5, 14 and 15. Many people are aware of the love of God. But the reason why they do not find answers is because they pray sincerely. But their prayers are inconsistent with the will of God. Let's read those who are in the studio here. Let's shout it 14 and 15. Ready? One to read. And this is the confidence we have in him. Uh -huh, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Now pause for a moment. If we ask anything, that anything is governed by the will of God. Once it is according to his will, there is a guarantee that he heareth us. But he does not just stop there. Next verse 15 says, And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. So before we begin to shout and pray, dissipating energy we must verify that that which we are seeking to see manifest in our lives is consistent with the will of god and the will of god is captured in scripture the bible contained within the bible is a revelation of the will of god every scripture that represents god's commitment is a representation of his will for instance he says when there is a casting down that for you there is a lifting up so when you are praying god lift me you pray with assurance knowing that what you are saying is consistent with the will of god that i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise he says so shall i be saved from my enemies so salvation and deliverance from your enemies is the will of god and when i pray deliverance i pray pray with understanding that i'm praying consistent with the will of god is someone learning yes, so number one we pray with the consciousness of the love of god that he will not withhold any good thing from us number two we pray in accordance to his will ready for the final key faith engaging with god in prayer the bible says in hebrews 11 and verse 6 it says he that without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god must come believing number one that he is meaning he exists and then number two he is a rewarder Hi. a rewarder of them that diligently seek him not just them that know him them that seek him in mark chapter 11 and verse 24 jesus himself is speaking here mark 11 24 i hope you love scriptures it says therefore i say unto you read with me what things soever ye desire uh-huh when ye pray hold on hold on hold on hold on it says when ye pray believe so it's possible to pray and doubt while you are praying when ye pray believe so just praying does not automatically mean you believe. You can pray out of fear. You can pray out of a sense of uncertainty. He says, when ye pray, believe. Believe that ye receiveth them and thou shalt have them. To receive is a spiritual reality. To have means it manifests physically. You only have what you have received. If you cannot receive it, then you cannot have it. Receiving is by faith based on the integrity of god's word having is now when it becomes manifest hallelujah so we're going to be praying some very powerful serious prayers in this place but for the next five to ten minutes i want us to pray in the spirit you see everyone who has a prayer language all over the world we are going to be praying in the spirit releasing our faith go ahead and pray 
Clap your hands if you can and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart in the spirit. Make sure you are praying in your home. Make sure you are praying, connecting by way of internet. Pray to the prayer answering God. Not just the prayer hearing God, the prayer answering God. Energize your spirit man as you pray. Energize your spirit man as you pray. Build yourselves on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. A few more minutes. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to sing that song, Behold the Glory of the Lord, once or twice. And then I'll begin to lead us through some prayers. And now, listen, I want you to invite everyone you can find because as I lead God's people through this prayer, there will be miracles, mighty manifestations of the Spirit. For someone, the end of captivity has come for you. So I want you to sing this as a song of deliverance, a song of liberty in the Spirit. Yes, sir. Behold.
hallelujah are you ready to pray psalm 34 we're going to read verse 17 then we'll read verse 19 as i prepared for this charge this prayer session all i kept hearing in my spirit was deliverance from afflictions whoa, whoa. deliverance from afflictions troubles calamities difficulties the bible says the righteous cry and the lord heareth and delivereth them out of how many say all, all. prophesy say all. all the righteous cry and the lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles verse 19 many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivered him out of them all are you ready to pray shout it say father one more time father by your wisdom and your power deliver me from every calamity every trouble go ahead and pray father deliver me Haroka pras kata balaka tosiata rakata prakata balaka ta father by your wisdom by your power deliver me from every calamity every trouble that has plagued me wants to plague me in the name of Jesus the righteous cry and the Lord heareth them the righteous cry and the Lord heareth them and delivereth them from all their infirmity all their afflictions deliver me from shame deliver me from reproach take away shame from my life take away reproach from my family someone is praying pray with faith pray with power pray with fire many are the afflictions of the righteous man but the lord delivered him from them all someone is praying someone is praying deliver me deliver me bareke perekos koto prakata baleka in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray psalm 35 my goodness someone's life is about to change 35 from verse 1 please be patient as i read plead my cause O lord with them that strive with me fight against them that fight against me reading to verse 10 verse 2 please it says take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help verse 3 draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me say unto my soul i am thy salvation it says let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise set my heart it says let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the lord chase them next verse it says let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the lord persecute them it says for without cause have they for me it says a net for a pit and without cause they have digged for my soul let destruction come upon them unawares and let his net that he has hid catch himself he says into the very destruction let him fail verse 9 and my soul shall be joyful in the lord it shall rejoice in his salvation final verse all my bones shall say lord who is like unto thee which delivereth the poor from him that is too strong for him yea the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him are you ready to pray father every battle that seems to be beyond my capacity arise like the mighty god that you are and fight for me go ahead every battle every situation 
financial battles family battles struggling with my health arise like the mighty God that you are arise like the mighty God that you are fight for me let me hold my peace it says the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace without cause they have persecuted you Parakata, brakata, belakata. Arise, O oh mighty one. Arise, O oh mighty one. Fight for every family. Fight for every business. Fight for every home. Fight for every child. Fight for every man, woman, boy, and girl. Fight for every preacher. For your name's sake. Someone is praying. Arise. 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 Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. How many of you believe in prophetic intercession? That you can stand right from this studio and intercede for someone. The centurion said, you do not need to come to my house, for I am a man under authority. He says, speak the word only. Let me show you a scripture in Philippians 1 and verse 19. I sense that we should intercede for families and loved ones. Did you know that in Job chapter 42, the Bible tells us in verse 10, that God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. There are times you need to temporarily look beyond yourself and begin to intercede for others. Philippians 1.19 Get set to intercede for someone other than yourself now. Let's read together. One to read. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of jesus christ listen it didn't say through my prayer i can pray but there are times i will need the prayer of another even paul said brethren pray for us pray for us are you ready to pray there has to be someone in your life in need of your intercession probably some unsaved son probably some discouraged believer we are going to raise up sounds of prayer right now say after me father one more time say father in the name of jesus i bring before you my friends my family my loved ones arise visit them give them testimonies open your mouth and pray arise arise i know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayers through your prayers this shall turn for my salvation this sickness is not unto death this financial calamity is not unto death this housing issue is not unto death this health challenge is not unto death through my prayer through your prayer it shall turn for my salvation pray pray for your loved ones pray for your family members pray for those in your office Pray for those in your church. Brethren, pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us that we be separated from wicked and unreasonable people. For not all men have faith. Someone is praying. This will turn out. <laughs> that situation will turn out. It will turn out. It will turn out. What looks like a Red Sea is a miracle that is about to happen through our prayers, through your prayer, through my prayer. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Can I tell you sincerely, one of the ways God gives men peace 
is to take away afflictions from their life. Hallelujah. In the presence of calamity and affliction and turbulence, you may be able to find peace in the midst of the storm, but you can find peace outside and beyond the storm. Hallelujah. And so I'm, I'm speaking to someone already. Your life, you've gone through all kinds of things. The bills are against you. Your health is not working. Your home is not working. Your finances is not working. Even your spiritual life, it's an attack. And God has sent us this morning to bring to end every calamity. Someone agree with me. To bring to end every calamity. That these Egyptians you see today, Shalika Paragosiata, you will see them no more forever. Hallelujah. Now we're going to sing Yahweh Sabaoth for a minute or two, and then I will bring my final prayer point. I want you to sing it from the depth of your heart. Let it be your song of deliverance. You are calling and invoking his power. The Lord strong and mighty, reveal your glory in my life. Show forth your power in my life. Listen, listen. Let me tell you how to sing this song. I want you to zoom your faith at whatever challenge it is. Don't sing it carelessly. No. If it's a financial situation, see God arising while you are singing. If it's an issue of fruitlessness, you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Don't just sing and dance without revelation. In the kingdom, it is understanding that powers our activities. It's not just what we do, but the understanding that supports it. There's a housing issue about to repossess your property. Let that housing issue come to your mind as you are calling his name and rejoicing over the next one, two minutes on censored worship in this place. And we'll go to the next prayer point. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> for help listen to ask for help is a sign of humility and it's a sign that you are tired of limitation 
every time god wants to help men advance he sends them help listen psalm 21 and 2 psalm 21 and 2 here's what the bible says psalm 21 2 the lord hear thee in the day of trouble there is a day called the day of trouble and it says the lord hear thee it says the name of the god of jacob defend thee read verse 2 if you're a christian send thee help from his sanctuary and strengthen thee out of zion one more time send thee help from uh-huh psalm 121 verse 2 psalm 121 verse 2 i don't know about you but in this season we need help like never before hallelujah when god helps a man you will see people soaring to heights that you know by their efforts they would not be able to attain he says my help cometh come on now my help cometh i know it's coming from the lord but surely it will come my help cometh from the lord financial help relational help ministerial help can i tell you if you see anyone who is excelling in life and destiny it is because they have been helped of the lord hallelujah can i give you one more scripture before we pray second chronicles 26 let's read 5 and then 15 second chronicles 26 5 and then 15 the bible says and he sought god in the days of zechariah who had understanding in the visions of god and as long as he sought the lord help me god made him so men don't just prosper to prosper does not just mean to be rich to prosper means to advance to go forward to make constructive progress in life and destiny let's read 15 together now 26 15 26 15 ready one to read he made in jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be toward and upon bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones withal and his name spread far abroad for he was marvelously helped till he was strong you would just see him making progress even if the name of that person is nathaniel bassi you would see him scale heights or joshua selman you think i will call your name <laughs> hallelujah men do not just rise in this kingdom they are helped by god who is ready to ask for help say father i ask for your help in my life in this season go ahead and pray i ask for your help i ask for your help in ministry i ask for your help in business someone pray god can help a man rise god can help a church rise god can help a business rise god can help a family rise someone in need of help pray pray and his fame his name spread far abroad for he was marvelously helped he was marvelously helped till he became strong someone pray a preacher is praying a businessman is praying a career person is praying lord i have exhausted my strength i have exhausted my creativity i've exhausted my connections send me help from zion Send me help from your sanctuary. Shapa kapara kata pakata, krata balaka skata pranta kapares, ekresa tabalaka tafras kata. Send me help. Send me help. Send me help. Send me help. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon joshua selman thou shall arise and have mercy mention your name mention the name of your family help by the mercy of god help by the favor of god help by the ministry of men help by the ministry of the holy spirit the time to favor her the time to favor her the time to favor her Sabaratos koto breketes. The time to favor her. The 
the time to favor her. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 18 and verse 19. Psalm 18 and verse 19. 18, 19. Is that 18, 19? Please help me find the scripture. I think I miss it. By you, I run through a troop. By my God, I leap over a wall. That's the scripture I'm looking for. Did I mix them? Please look for it for me. Let's find it so that we can read it and then pray. By my God, I have leaped over a wall. By you, I run through a troop. And by my God, I leap over a wall. Someone help me. Find that scripture for us so that we can pray it from the depth of our hearts. Thank you. Okay, 29. 1829. 1829 psalm 1829 for by thee i have run through a troop listen one man cannot run through a troop no but when god becomes your backing standing behind you as a mighty terrible one he can push you forward he says i can run through a troop then he says by my god i leaped over a wall does that look like someone's testimony are you ready to pray father advance my life father move me forward let my life be a reflection of your glory go ahead and pray cause me to advance cause me to make progress someone who is tired of staying at the same position cause me to make progress cause me to advance for by thee i have run through a troop by my god i have leaped over a wall Sate peka parakatos, krata gaberento soto balaka parakata. One more minute, you are praying. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Prophesy to yourself. I'm going forward, going forward, going forward going forward come on someone prophesy i am going forward in the name of jesus spiritually going forward financially going forward career wise going forward the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day declare that you are going forward constructive progress by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. For in Jesus name we have prayed. In Jesus name we have prayed. Now I'm about to speak to our lives. I believe in the power of prophecy. While I'm speaking, I'm also going to be speaking over those who are trusting God for healings of all sorts. Those who are trusting God for restoration. Those who are trusting God for breakthroughs. Listen, one of the ways that God enhances answered prayer is to introduce the prophetic to your prayer equation. After Hannah prayed, she did not stop there. Eli looked at her and spoke a prophetic word. And that's what brought Samuel, who became a prophet himself hallelujah and so i'm going to we'll do something prophetic now within two or three minutes that we have every time i'm here with pastor nat i always want to hear that sound of the trumpet so here's what will happen for the next one minute take this as a prophetic instruction i want you to take the next one minute and begin to pray everything that must live your life now everything mention it by name that at the blast of the trumpet, any song, whatever the spirit puts in his heart, for the next one minute, please listen. Don't keep quiet. If it's an issue of barrenness, lay your hands right now and say in the name of Jesus, this spirit of barrenness you leave. The spirit of poverty, maybe you've been going in circles, nothing working, or you rise up and then you go down. Just when it is about to happen, something happens and cut short your success. The prophetic word of God is about to come now. Hmm. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. 
now when the day of pentecost had fully come the bible says there was a sound it always starts with a sound the moment you hear the sound of the of the trumpet don't be silent begin to speak everything that is not of god every ill health that cancer that blood condition that situation with my son that situation with my daughter over the next one two minutes i want you to be the prophet over your destiny before i come in are you ready now go ahead i want you to agree the moment you hear the sound of the trumpet begin to make petitions by faith all over the world go ahead pray to the god who answers prayer be anxious for nothing the bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god someone pray this issue of barrenness dies now someone pray this financial calamity dies now someone pray my season of favor is come my season of lifting is come someone pray the prayerlessness dies now the wordlessness dies now at the sound of the trumpet every wall of jericho falls every wall of jericho falls every curse every yoke every enchantment every demonic activity someone engage by faith engage by faith engage by faith engage by faith Barrenness, God, failure, God, limitations, God, by the Spirit of the living God, and by the sound and the blast of the trumpet. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a song in my spirit. We will shout, hallelujah, we will shout, praise the Lord. Spirit and rejoice. One more time. Shout.
that is the same way you will be dancing home after you receive your testimonies now and i want you if you can lift your hands or stretch your hands towards your screen your device i'm about to speak over your life yeah. prophecy is powerful prophecy is powerful prophecy is powerful when a prophetic word comes from a sent vessel to your destiny it can rewrite your story in a moment i tell you most people have not encountered the power of prophecy at Saul, he encountered one prophet and in a moment his life changed moses met this mysterious man called melchizedek and melchizedek spoke over him he said um blessed art thou son of the most high he called him possessor of the heavens and the earth the prophetic is very powerful and listen i'm standing in faith with pastor nat and all the believers in this studio i'm speaking across the airwaves for someone perhaps you are in america ah, my god i sense such an anointing an anointing an anointing graves are about to open right now stories are about to be rewritten right now for someone a chapter that has refused to come to an end god is bringing it to an end father in the name of jesus here at hallelujah challenge we stand in faith believing in the name of jesus the one who we have exalted in praise and worship the one who we have prayed unto in the name that is above all names everyone in a pit a financial pit health pit marital pit career pit by the power that raised christ from the dead the same way at the sound of the trumpet the dead will come out of their graves i'm praying anyone in any grave right now come out of that grave now come out of that grave now come out of that pit now come out of that grave now come out of that pit now in the name of jesus every veil of shame and reproach that is upon the face of anyone not allowing you to be seen to be honored to be celebrated by the power that raised christ from the dead we tear off that veil now we tear off that veil now in the name of jesus joseph made a profound statement his brother sold him out of greed and anger but god turned it around and made him a prime minister and when he looked at them he said you meant it for evil i want to pray for someone right now it may not be your making that you are in that calamity perhaps it's because of your integrity that you are now in trouble i want to invoke all law this is over someone's destiny right now. Turn it around, oh God. Turn it around, oh God. <laughs> Listen, for someone following, I'm prophesying to someone. Between now and Monday, this is not everybody, but I'm speaking to someone by the Spirit. Between now and Monday, this has to do with your career. The Lord will surprise you and turn things around. Turn things around, turn things around, turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ. That those who once hated you will be the ones supporting your growth. The same Pharaoh that kept God's people in Egypt was the same one who gave them gold and said, Go forward in the name of Jesus. By all means, may my God move you forward. May my God move you forward. May my God move you forward. And in the name of Jesus, we stand as responsible believers and responsible citizens and we speak over the soul of Nigeria. 
there are still men and women that love the Lord and for the sake of the elect this nation will not see shame therefore we agree lifting sounds of prayer praise and worship Nigeria hear the word of the Lord enter a new season enter a new season may the Lord show us mercy economic mercy political mercy mercy in the area of security may my God judge the wicked all the kidnappings and everything that seems to bring shame and reproach to this nation let God arise let God arise let God arise in the name of Jesus let God arise I pray for every family that has gone through turmoil, through pain, through discouragement and you are connecting tonight. Perhaps you are crying while you are watching and you are saying, Lord, visit me. May my God come through for you. May my God come through for you. Right now I decree and declare anyone who has a death sentence as a medical report, anyone suffering from cancer, fibroids, headaches, blood conditions, asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, pile, peptic ulcer, in the name that is above all names, be healed right now. 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 Eye right right conditions be healed. Deaf ears be open. Migraines come to an end. Ulcers be healed. Heart palpitations be healed. Those who are confined to crutches and wheelchairs, rise up and begin to walk now. Back pains be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Gastrointestinal problems be healed respiratory problems be healed and every demonic attack over every life every demonic attack in the spirit of Haman to see to it that your destiny does not emerge the same pits they dug for you may they fall in it in the apakatos katapaka ratos kataprenteketa lapreske betapakatoskiata krapata prekete peleke pariata in the name of Jesus every evil meant for you you are escaped like the bird in the presence of the father snare in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and let answers to tonight's prayers come speedily speedily in the name of jesus hallelujah let me wrap up by speaking to someone it is wonderful to be prayerful. It is excellent to be a worshiper, but it is best to be saved. Hmm. Hallelujah. Regardless the kind of spiritual activity you are involved with, if you are not saved, you are not safe. So for someone right now, you participated in the prayer, participated in the worship but the lord is giving you an opportunity right now this is why he kept you awake this is why he kept you alive this is your moment the bible says now is the day of salvation we are not just worshipers we are not just preachers we have a passion to see a harvest come to the kingdom hallelujah and for someone regardless where you're connecting from i want to make a plea for the sake of your destiny even your eternal destiny this is an opportunity for you to make it right with jesus you have a right to reject my call you have a, a right to reject jesus It's within your power but i beseech you by the message of god here's what the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son he says that whosoever that blessing is for whosoever and that includes you Yes, I know that your life may not be the best expression of it now, regardless what you've done or not done, what you are or not yet, regardless, Jesus is able to give you a new beginning right now. 
and so i'm going to lead you as many of you who are convicted right now and that includes those who want to rededicate their lives you're saying apostle i remember making this decision once but right now my life has gone haywire i cannot say i have a functional relationship with jesus here's an opportunity tomorrow might be too late he calls you and the bible says that you should harden not your heart in the day that he calls you i want to lead you to pray a very simple prayer and the moment you do that there's a qr code you'll be requested to scan just feel let's know that you have made this noble decision in all of the dancing the jumping the singing the prayer the receiving of prophecy this in my opinion is the greatest experience this night hallelujah and so say after me for as many of you who are now connecting i want you to say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive your life i receive jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare say it that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god i live for jesus and i serve him all the days of my life i go forward ever and backward never amen now let me pray for you dear father we thank you because the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away thank you for the hallelujah challenge thank you for giving us the opportunity to not only pray to not only worship to not only praise to not only receive prophetic words but to see that we midwife many coming into the kingdom lord we thank you thank you for one person who is saved right now thank you for one person who has found salvation in the name of jesus i pray that the power to rise and live above satan sin defeat and anything that brings people down may that grace be imparted upon you we call you the righteousness of god and we declare that you will walk in newness of life in the name of jesus christ and one more time i'm praying for everyone who has participated in this meeting this morning I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, you will return with abundance of testimonies. It will be clear through your life that it pays to pray, it pays to praise, it pays to worship in the name of Jesus. Pastor Nat, thank you so much for this opportunity and thank the whole team. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Oh my goodness. Can you give Jesus a shout? out i continue to be grateful and amazed for the depth of god in this verse please join me lift your hands and for 30 seconds nobody logs out i had a revelation here on the trumpet blast and i will end with that revelation so don't go let's seal this time but we have to lift our hands and thank god for giving us apostle joshua selman that's the prayer just say lift your hands say father thank you for keeping him for training him for helping him for equipping him for me for us lift up your hands and thank him 30 seconds 30 seconds that, that thanksgiving is too weak. I knew how you prayed when you were praying for help. Quick. Thank you for... You ascended on high and gave gifts to men. You gave us Apostle Joshua, Selma, Neman of Eternity Network International. Koinonia. Thank you. Thank you. Father, on his behalf, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
thank you for how you've used him now ask God to keep him pray 2 Chronicles 26 15 that he will be marvelously helped until he is very strong remember tonight one of the things we did is to pray for others that prayer fire is to, we won't stop until like until it feels heavy 